My name is Tony Hitchcock and I'm a student of the Introduction to Music Production course uh, offered through Berkeley. And this is Assignment 6, a comparison of synthesizer interfaces. The fourth sensor we'll be looking at today, the Steinberg Retrolog, Steinberg Prolog, Halion Sonic SE2 Trip and the Halion Sonic Synth. Here we have the Steinberg Retrolog, an emulation of a hardware style synth. The main sections, we have the oscillators, there are two of them located over here on the left, uh, as well as a sub oscillator and a noise generator. Moving across to the right, in the centre we have the filter section where we can select the shape of the filter, we can also uh, control the cutoff and the resonance as well as controlling an envelope that applies to the filter. Moving across to the amplifier, we have the main amplifier controls of level and pan and on the right we have the amplifier envelope controls of attack time, decay time, sustain level and release time and each of those parameters are controlled by these sliders. The low frequency oscillators are located on the left below the main oscillators. There are two of them here switchable between LFO 1 and 2 and again we can control the parameters of the low frequency oscillators. To the right we have the matrix uh, where you can configure uh, what the low frequency oscillators actually affect. So that's the retro log. Our next synth is the Prolog. Now the Prolog has three oscillators all located in the upper section of the display and the controls are separated spatially and as well as across this arc. The filter section is located in this circle in the centre of the display where we have the cutoff frequency in the middle, the filter shapes around the outside and the emphasis over here is actually the resonance as well as a couple of other controls. The amplifier, the main amplifier section is over here with volume and pan uh, but the envelope is located down at the bottom we just need to select envelope and you can see we have four different envelopes to play with each with attack, decay, release and sustain time oh sorry sustain level and at the moment Envelope 2 is selected and we can adjust whatever we need to on that. On the right it's um, destination of, of the uh, envelope and what it's going to affect is over here. The low frequency oscillators can be activated by uh, selecting LFO and we can see we have two of those again with controls on the left of each one as well as its destination uh, set up on the right. So that's Prolog. Our third synth is the Trip Synthesizer within Halion Sonic SE2. The oscillator section here shows us three oscillators uh, with the controls for each one of them as well as in the subsection there is a sub oscillator, a ring modulator and a noise generator. The filter section located down here in the bottom left we have the filter shape control as well as the controls for uh, the filter cutoff and resonance particularly. Moving across to the right we have the amplifier section on the right hand side level and velocity controls here as well as controls for attack time, decay time, sustained, uh, sustain level and release time. The low frequency oscillators are accessed by using the mod screen and we can see we have one low frequency oscillator along with another one which is particularly controls vibrato but really just another LFO. So that's the main setup of the trip synth. And finally we have the synth that's the heart of Halion Sonic, a very sophisticated instrument. So again we'll start with the oscillator section. Uh, we can see we have three main oscillators along with a sub, a ring modulator and a noise generator. The filter section, selectable from this menu bar, we see we have uh, filter types that we can control four different filters at once and configure them in a variety of ways. Cutoff and resonance are located over here on the right hand side. Now moving on to the amplifier, again just selectable through the menu, we can see we have the main amplifier controls at the top, level, pan, along with a few others. To show the amplifier 
envelope we come down here and select show amplifier envelope and we can see the envelope shape here we can control uh, the way we look at it and we can control the parameters by using the mouse the low frequency oscillators are selected by using one of these menu items there are uh, two low frequency oscillators that are polyphonic P1 and P2 and two monophonic low frequency oscillators the matrix allows you to uh, configure your LFOs uh, along with what it is that they are modulating and uh, that's Halion Sonic and thank you for watching and of course reviewing